you imagine what a young boy would look like who would dream of the day that he will be able to do justice to masterpieces by Beethoven, Bach and Mozart? Allow me to show you a glimpse of this young boy's remarkable life journey as his hard work, steadfastness and determination helped him to accomplish his dreams. Due to his dad's untimely passing, Stuart Goodyear never had the privilege to meet his father in person, but got to know his heart when he discovered the music collection that his dad has left behind. Though the music led him to understand something about his father, it also led him to the world stage, as Stuart made his debut as pianist with the Toronto Symphony Orchestra at the young age of 11. Goodyear is an accomplished artist whose career spans many genres, from concert pianist, chamber musician and composer that is known for imagination, a graceful, elegant style and exquisite technique. And should you ask about his repertoire, he would humbly state that he enjoys performing everything from Bach to Goodyear. So tell me, Stuart, you started professionally performing at the age of 11 when you won the Canadian Music Competition. Right. What happened after that? Um, I performed for two seasons after that, and then I took a break from performing to attend Curtis and Juilliard. After I graduated from Juilliard, I resumed performing again. Stuart soon became a critically acclaimed pianist through breathtaking performances with the New York Philharmonic, Los Angeles Philharmonic, Royal Liverpool Philharmonic, Toronto Symphony Orchestra, and many more. But early 2010, he simply had to fulfill yet another dream, the recording of his first solo album. I practice morning, noon, and night, and sometimes um, it's not necessarily at the keyboard. If I'm walking around, if I'm exploring a city, that just enriches my interpretation. After a few minor adjustments, Stuart and the team are ready to continue with the next recording session. We're recording your first solo album and it's Beethoven Sonatas. What made you choose these specific pieces? Um, I chose these specific pieces because from the age of eight when I first heard these pieces and from the age of 15 when I first learned these pieces I knew that these pieces had to be on my first solo album because of out of all of the um, pieces that I've ever played these sonatas seem to speak to me the most deeply. Okay. Now you're done your first day of recording. How do you feel about that? I feel really good. Um, we got a lot accomplished and I look forward to the next day. Okay. Now, speaking of accomplishments, what do you see for the future? Um, the future is um, just continuing 
doing what I love doing, which is making music and communicating to audiences. You recently had a very extraordinary experience in performing all of Beethoven's sonatas in Ottawa in only four days. Why don't you tell me a little bit more about that? Uh, intense, baptism of fire, adventure, all of those words really come to mind when I think back on that week. All of the audience members following me on this journey and witnessing the next sonata and reliving 1803, 1804 or whenever those pieces were written. All right. What made you decide to actually do it though? I wanted to do this since I was 15 years old and I learned these sonatas with uh, my teacher at Curtis when I was 15, going through all of the sonatas, every week I learned a different one. And I've lived with these pieces since I was maybe around four or five, but I wanted to have the emotional understanding to really tackle them and share them with the public. You perform all over North America and Europe, which means you're touring a lot. What does the life of a touring concert pianist look like? It looks exactly like that. This is my suitcase that I tour with weekly, has all, all my concert wear, books, everything is in that suitcase. Wherever I'm going, whether or not it's Germany, USA, Mexico, it's the suitcase. That's this, it's this suitcase right there. Stuart, we followed you on your journey as you recorded your first CD. That has been released and it's doing extremely well. How has the success of your first CD influenced your goals for the second one? The second CD uh, represents for me a continuation of that same journey that I had doing that marathon. So for this release coming up, you will have the famous sonatas, you'll have the Moonlight, you'll have the Tempest and some others. And I'm just picturing when people are listening to the CD that um, there's some kind of an emotional impact and connection similar to um, what I had when I was performing these pieces live. And um, I know there will be individuals and each individual will have their own um, response, but hopefully it's a strong one. Once you've experienced his modesty, when this extraordinary pianist receives standing ovations and curtain call after curtain call, after curtain call, you'll agree that his performances are not only memorable because of his brilliant technique, but also because of the honesty with which Stuart Goodyear shares his heart and soul with his audience. Stuart Goodyear, brilliant pianist, inspiring composer, a man to make his dad proud.